Hello and welcome to my channel. I am at home right now in my kitchen. That's our fun map of all the places we've been. Not that you asked or care. Dave is in the sunroom right now uh, talking to his dad on the phone. So um, ignore him in the background. Uh, but I've gotten some requests for how I drink my coffee. I post I posted it on um, Instagram a couple of times and people are like, you're so weird, why do you do it that way? Well, I'm just that way. I'm just, I don't know, for reals. Um, I drink bulletproof coffee uh, because it makes my brain clearer and it um, gives my brain a lot of healthy fats and good um, things to absorb to where my brain doesn't lag so much. Um, I have been out of a few of the products um, since, what did we do? We left vacation January 1st and was gone through the 11th. And it was like a week before um, we left for vacation, I ran out of all of, like pretty much every single ingredient. So I get it from Amazon and they auto deliver because I did like the subscription because I'm like, I want to order it anyways. I might as well not have to think about it. So, and it's actually pretty darn great because it's down to a science. Ryman, what are you doing? Are you, are you eating something? Where'd you go? Are you being a good girl? Are you being a good girl? It's okay. She's usually chewing something, so she always gets in trouble. But she likes this vent, don't you, dear? Don't you, dear? Usually when there's silence like that, that means she's eating something that she shouldn't be eating. So, um, why am I winded? I need to do more cardio. So yeah, I was out for like the week before we left vacation. Now we've been back for a week yesterday and I just got in my reorder because I had it delayed. I do bulletproof, I don't know why I keep doing air quotes. I do bulletproof coffee, um, but I don't use their uh, collagen anymore. I just found that Vital Proteins, collagen peptides, it's 20 grams of collagen per serving, and this is 20 ounces. I don't know that I've felt a difference quality-wise with my joints, because that's why I take it, that and like collagen and skin, just, you know, whatever else. What else is it for? That's where I notice it. Skin, hair, nails, and joint support. I think I did the math ones where this is slightly cheaper, but yeah, so I'm gonna show you how I make my Bulletproof coffee. It's kind of, it's not hard to explain, but this is, this is how I feel like it has worked best for me. Um, but I started small on everything, like everything the recommended, recommended dose, I, I made it half. And then over the next like month or so, I increased everything because I just, you know, I didn't know what it was going to do. I just heard and read things about it. So maybe a month and a half to, and this was like three years ago. I, uh, I was like, I don't know. I started feeling good like for like maybe, I'm trying to find a comfortable way to stand and it's not working. So it, um, I took it for like, I started drinking coffee, built it up for like a month and then had the full dose for like a month. And I was like, I don't know if it's working. Like, I think I've been scammed. And so I stopped taking it. And that was not ideal. Like I realized how much the collagen was helping my joints. And I realized how uh, much the, Brain Octane Oil was helping my brain fog and my um, like inability to be able to like spit out words fast enough and to be able to just basically be a human. So I, it, I like, I've forgotten how, I've not even forgotten, like when it's something gradual that happens and you're slowly increasing the fats in your body, which people think fat is bad and they count their calories and count their fats and get fat free crap left and right. I, that's not my way. If that's what you want to do with your life, that's cool, but that's not me. I know the bulletproof uh, method calls for um, their beans, and I respect that. And um, they're delicious, and but they are incredibly expensive. And it's up to you if that's something you think you want to prioritize. Getting the the like, um, I think it's like a 10, 11 ounce bag for like seventeen dollars. That's cool. More power to you. But personally, we can't afford that, so we don't. We don't do it. And um, so I just go to Costco. So we just get whatever's organic on hand. Um, and that's the way that we can afford it and how we can be able to spend money on, you know, the additional ingredients because, well, this is just what we have to do. So I'm sure I'm gonna get comments of people saying like, that's not true bulletproof. Well, that's great. If y'all wanna pay my bulletproof bill, y'all go right ahead. But this is how we do it. And this is what works well for us. And the idea of the organic coffee beans is that a lot of the average coffee, like I won't, I don't like, I'm not like dissing anything because I grew up on, 
um, a lot of those brands, but the mold content is through the roof. I never, I never did the bulletproof beans because I've, I haven't, my situation hasn't changed. I'm still too uh, poor and can't afford uh, the beans. But once I started switching to organic beans, my heartburn went down, um, my anxiety went down, and that's something like, I didn't even realize I had anxiety until I cut back, or I was still I switched to organic coffee beans. I know that sounds weird. If you don't believe me, just try it for a couple months or even like a month, two weeks. I don't know, however long it takes for your body to know. I just felt personally for me, switching to organic coffee really uh, changed my life, I think so. And oh no, did I lock you out? Oh hey. What? Oh hey. Hey, how are you doing? What are you even doing out there this whole time? Is she I've out there? chatting with my father on the phone. Yeah, hey, you going outside or you coming in? Huh? Come on, what are you doing in here? Um, gonna teach people how it's to do bullet. There. Bulletproof coffee. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, how are you? You look nice. Thanks. You're sticky. <laughs> it's lip gloss. Hey, come on in. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come inside. Hey. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's go. go. You want a treat? <whistles> come on, let's get a treat. Oh, she knows that word. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey, well, how you uh. Doing? Will you fix that light? It's really wrecking my video game. Yeah, I. Not I, video game. My, hey, babe, babe. Oh, yeah. That's why I picked those up. Yeah, I know. I, I appreciate it. That's why I, that's why I ask. Tell, huh? tell me what you think of, of bulletproof coffee. It's much more, oh, much more delicious than regular coffee. That's for sure. Well, not even just about deliciousness. Like, do you feel like, <laughs> mind you, we haven't had full bulletproof coffee in a while because we haven't had brain octane Ooh, oil. We, we have those now? Yeah. That was no, that's just, the... it's just a figment of your imagination. Oh. No, that's what came in the mail. Oh, what? let there be light. What's going on here? Oh, I don't know. I don't understand why that happened. I don't understand why this isn't focusing. I think that... I think that our house is possessed because those were both burned out. <laughs> At least they thought. Oh. Anyway, bulletproof coffee. I don't know, it's just better than coffee. The fat's good for your brain. It feels, you know... Coffee dehydrates you and gets you all jacked up with caffeine. At least with Bulletproof, you're getting some other good stuff. That's, and, that's the problem with Bulletproof, I, I will say, is that like, it is really good, and I am inclined to probably have more than I should. Well, also, we put, and we we shouldn't probably, but we put maple syrup in it sometimes. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, we put maple syrup in it sometimes because, you know, life is short, mm. and we can only we only live like the 80-20 rule. We do good 80% of the time, and we, we, we try our best. So... Whatever. Sometimes and we put the, uh, maple syrup in our and coffee. And 20% of the time we do really, really bad. I was going to make coffee now, but I think I'm going to wait till the morning and then film it in the morning because... Just do it now. That's fine. You don't have to drink it. Just show them how to make it. Okay. We'll, we'll split it. Okay. Do you have coffee made or no? No. Just no. make a little. All right. We'll split it. So just to recap, you will need your favorite organic coffee, a cup that's wide for you to blend in, brand octane oil, collagen and Kerrygold butter. And we have this KitchenAid hand mixer. I know it looks ridiculous and if you never use one, it's kind of strange, but it's super great, especially for bulletproof coffee. Hey, will you film me? Sure. Okay, here you go. Oh, hey. Bum chicka Is bow it so wow. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is exciting because like, I think this is the first time it's ever happened where it's like a fresh, a fresh brick of butter. Oh, it's, it's an yeah, unopened. It's case of collagen and unopened thing of brain octane. So, you and my nails are janky, but don't judge me. Like I said earlier, you're gonna get disaster pants if you do a full tablespoon right off the bat, because if you don't consume oil, you will probably have oily poos. So, start small. Start at like a teaspoon. Did and... you say disaster pants? Yeah, you've had them. Excuse me? <laughs> I've never had disaster pants. Yes, you pants. have. But Dave and I- Not literally. <laughs> no, that's what they call it, disaster pants. So, mm. I'm gonna do, so I, yeah, okay. One tablespoon, and I'm gross, and I look out. <clears throat> I look it out because I'm like, I don't wanna waste that, that's expensive. Oh, yeah. But it's also just Dave and I here, so <clears throat> if I lick it, he won't judge me because his mouth touches my mouth, so. Ew. I mean, ew. That's very adult, Leah. Your mouth touches my mouth? It's called kissing. You're getting very adult here. <laughs> Let's keep it PG, please. And there's our dog, ruining everything. <laughs> Are those like milk? Did you buy them? 
What is she eating that she's not she's supposed to have? She's eating some fish food! <laughs> Ryan! No, how did you get that? That was on the counter. <laughs> you wizard. What are you doing? Hey, I'm not in the middle of a tutorial. I'm so distracted with this cutie. Good dog, don't eat the fish food. It's for the fish. But mom forgets to feed him anyway, so. Shut up. <laughs> and you'll be sticker shocked at first when you first start buying it, but then it'll get it'll get easier with time. I'm just gonna do two scoops. Because Dave and I are gonna split this coffee because it is like six o'clock at night. Mm. Alright, now let's move on to Batar. Batar. So they has little tablespoon marks on here. Did you say they has little tablespoon marks? Did it, I don't know, did I? They have. They have little tablespoon marks. Um, so just open up your butter. You cannot use, like, I can't believe it's not butter or... No. No, you can't use that garbage. It's not real, it's all synthetic, and it's crap. You don't want to eat it ever. But, you know, do what you want. So I'll just cut this. I'll put it in here. <clears throat> so if Dave and I are both drinking, I'll probably go two cups. Ooh, do you want maple syrup, Dave? Mm, yeah. Like, I remember when I first started Bulletproof, like I would crave it every morning and it would be like my reason to get up in the morning. Stop chewing that. Hey, no. I have to... She knows it's time for her heartworm medication. She knows. I just, oh. Okay, um, I knew that like, I craved it in the morning. I don't know if you agree with this Dave, but I craved it so much, but then like over time, I stopped craving it. And I think that's because like, all the fat and nutrients I was lacking for so long, like we're finally like replenished. And that took about a year, a year and a half probably. Um, Cause I've been doing it for about three and a half years now. Three, three to years. To get your butter nutrients My, replenished? <laughs> butter, collagen, and like the high fats. Because I've only had like, we used to always just have like, the like brown tub of butter and it's not good, it's not good fats. And I would just have like Jack's pizza for lunch and stuff. Um, so like over time you'll you won't need as much. So Dave and I I feel like don't need as much collagen because we we take it every day and our our system is filled with it, so we don't need it all the time. So handy hoozles. Don't talk about my system. I know all about your system. You I know about your colon. You don't know me. I know your colon better than you know your colon. Anyways. Wait, are we putting some uh, are we putting some syrup in there? Yeah. I'll get Help. it. I'll yeah. get it. Actually, I don't know where it's at. Mm, here it is. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. What? Oh, life is so sad, Ryman. Okay, we're back. Okay, sorry. Our battery died. So, um, we're about to add some maple syrup. I just do like a globble. Oh. One metric globble. I missed it. How dare you? That's okay. Um, and then just take the hand blender and go to town. And then to get like froth, you, you kind of angle it. That's how you do that. You don't know how to do froth? We live together and you don't know how to do froth? I just hope that I get froth. Now you just blend the top. Make sure you get all the goodies down at the bottom. And then, voila! And you can also expand, just like with regular coffee, you can expand and uh, like add cinnamon or some vanilla or some peppermint. Um, you can add lots of different stuff to make it make it yummy per season. You can do like pumpkin seasoning, like the organic pumpkin seasoning. That's really yummy. Um, you can make yourself like a little pumpkin spice latte and be basic, just like me. Um, yeah, so that's how you make bulletproof, and then you put it in a put it in. A, I like fancy cups for breakfast. Stemless wine glasses. Stemless wine glasses. Sometimes I drink coffee in a martini glass. Here you go, Dave. Ooh. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I'll use this mug. I don't recommend drinking coffee from a martini glass. I don't even recommend drinking martinis from a martini glass because they're freaking dangerous. They are designed to spill. I've never seen a less practical piece of dishware. Hey, wait. Do you like my cup? Sorry, I'm getting distracted. Wait. Mmm. It's too full, I can't tip. It's also backwards. Damn it. <laughs> wait, wait. Right, now it'll make sense. Here. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. 
So that's how you make bulletproof coffee. Thank there you, you David, go. for being the best assistant in the world. Round of applause for David and his cuteness. Yeah, well, drink your coffee and go to Hobby Lobby with me. Come on. I, on purpose, don't ever go anywhere that rhymes with its own name. <laughs> oh, that's on. hot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, drink, try a bulletproof coffee for a couple months, see what you think. See if it helps your mind and your clarity and your joints and all that good stuff. So it's good. I'll it's leave delicious. a couple articles below on the benefits of drinking bulletproof coffee. Um, yeah. So yeah. yeah. Good. Let's drink it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>